But Squirt, tell me where you at, your motivation guy is back. I just wanna let you know I'm proud of you. I'm your number one fan, keep going. Hey, keep your dreams alive, all right? You gotta keep going after it, but you gotta set your goals, set your expectations, and just take one step at a time. Enjoy the journey, the process is beautiful. We're becoming better every single day. Hey, listen, man, I'm here to make you guys the best Fortnite player you could possibly be. And so if you've been watching our videos for some time now, you're gonna definitely remember us saying how important it is to practice on creative if you guys wanna go pro. You know, although this is true, like you need to make sure that you're practicing in the right maps or else the time you're putting in, it's not gonna work for you. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys seven of the best creative maps that you should be practicing in on to really improve your skills and make it to that next level of professional gaming. Listen, man, uh, it's time to sit back. You already know what I'm saying. Relax and get some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. All right, so before we hop into the first map we got for you guys today, we wanna give a huge shout out to Raider464. Raider has created a handful of extremely useful creative maps for improving your skills, and a good chunk of the maps that we have for you guys today has been created by him. You know, he's just one of the best mechanical players in the world. I mean, you already know that whatever he creates and uses himself is going to be great. All right, so with that being said, let's start off with some maps that you're gonna help improve you and your aim. The first map that we got for you guys today on the list is Raider's newest aim training map. Unlike the other creative aim training maps that you likely played, this map has scenarios with realistic AIs that's going to help improve your tracking and flicking and overall crosshair control. On top of the AI scenarios, I mean, this map also features scenarios that you only see in third-party aim trainers like Aim Lab or Kovacs. We should also mention that this map offers some personal customizations as well. Alright, so for each map, you're going to have the option to choose the distance you aim from as well as the amount of time on the clock if you want to keep your routine precise. You know, definitely incorporate this map into your aim training routine if you haven't already, and you're going to start seeing your aim reach the next level. This next map that we got for you guys was also created by Raider, of course, and has actually been out for quite some time now. You know, although this map isn't the newest, it's still a great way to get some realistic aim training as well as see how you compare to your friends. This 1v1 aim trainer functions exactly how it sounds. I mean, you're going to be able to hop into a variety of different scenarios with other, you know, players using your choice of weapons and health. And so once the round begins, you and the opposing player are racing to out damage each other and destroy the other player's health bar first. So we recommend giving each of these scenarios a try to see what you guys like the best. You know, we personally just recommend the 1v1 cone react, 1v1, uh, you know, cone, as well as the different gliding scenarios as your go-to scenarios. These maps are going to greatly improve your shotgun flicks as well as your SMG tracking. If you guys don't have a friend to practice in this map with, I mean, there's no need to worry. There's actually a Q option once you enter the map that's going to pair you guys up with a random online opponent, all right? Just like we mentioned before, this map is still actively used by so many. So, you know, finding opponents to play with, it's not going to be an issue at all. The final aim-related map that we got for you guys today was created by Panville, and it's a fantastic way to really hit your shotgun headshots more consistently. In the headshot-only box fight map, you're gonna fill it up with 16 other players where you're gonna be only have one item in your inventory, a shotgun. Just as the name implies, you're gonna only be able to eliminate the other players by hitting a max damage headshot. This map will force you to be precise with your shots and well improve your micro flicks greatly. Just like the previous map we showed you guys, this one has been out for a while, but it's just now starting to get in included into a majority of the pros warm up routine. All right, so these players are typically gonna start off by warming up their aim with a third party aim program or a creative map. They are gonna finish by just hopping into the maps queue where they're gonna be able to try to hit their headshots as consistently as possible. This map is a great way to conclude the aim training portion of your warm up and get you into the feel of realistic fighting scenarios, all right? This map has cues for both the striker, pump, and auto shotguns, but the pump map seems to just be the most popular. All right, bunch of great time. it's time for the question of the day. Should we get into this? Let's go. All right. So so, um, yeah, we've been talking about shotguns. What would you say is your favorite shotgun in all of Fortnite's history? Be honest, let us know in the comments below. Uh, so the next map was created by Raider and is a great way to practice your crosshair placement. You know, crosshair placement is one of the most overlooked aspects of the game and it can really can take your mechanics to the next level when you get the proper movements down. When you enter the map, you're gonna see a variety of different training drills. These can be great to really practice, but we just really want you guys to focus on the crosshair placement section specifically, all right? In this section, there are gonna be several walls scattered around the room with each of them containing a red line. This line basically shows you the most efficient and minimum movement for the specific edit from whichever angle you're standing at. We recommend practicing each of these edits for at least 30 seconds, and after practicing with the red lines, you can then go ahead and practice the same edits on a wall without the line to really see if you got the movements down. Unlike what we may think, I mean, this map isn't a one and done type of a deal, right? Like, even after getting the proper crosshair movements down, you're still gonna wanna practice in this map every now and then, but just keep your crosshair placement on point. You can really think of this map as aim training for your edits. 
Let me ask you this, man. Have you guys ever wanted to train one-on-one -on -one with a pro player? Make sure to head on over to ProGuys.com. We've got an army of pro coaches ready and waiting to teach you everything you need to know about Fortnite so that you can improve fast. All right, so now that we showed you guys some maps for aim and crosshair placement, we want to show you a very underrated map that's going to turn you into a peace control legend. Don Wozy just recently released a brand new peace control map that is extremely realistic and also gives you guys some creative freedom, unlike some of the other peace control maps that you've likely played. This map, you know, it just has a variety of peace control scenarios that you're going to see in a real game. Each scenario is set up in a way that allows you to try out countless different approaches. Okay, so our favorite part of this map is the double and triple setup scenario. This drill is going to start with one visible bot, but after peace controlling and just taking the initial shot, a new bot will spawn in close by you for you to peace control again. We all know in real matches, players are going to tend to slip out of our peace control traps, right? So it's just a great way to practice immediately just spotting and reboxing players. You should try your best to rebox the newly spawned bot as quick as you can. And this is going to get you in the hang of just being able just to trap your opponents before they can even just get away and just heal safely. This map is great to just not only practice the mechanical aspect the peace controlling, but you're also gonna be able to improve your quick thinking and decision making skills for spotting peace control plays. Okay, so the next map we got for you guys today may seem obvious, but many players out there still neglect practicing their build fights. We're talking about Panville's newly updated 1v1 build fight map. This map is pretty much what it sounds like. I mean, it's a small map with a variety of weapon choices with a sleek design meant for practicing your build fights. The great thing about this map is that it has a queue option where you can fill with other players to really fight against. And this map is a very active map, so you're gonna be able to find different opponents almost instantly. You know, a cool feature on this map is the 176 health mode option. You know, since Epic decided to nerf the pump gun shotguns, making them unable to hit for 200 damage, this new feature is gonna set your health to 176. This means, guys, you can still hit those one pumps with both the pump and striker shotgun to get some nasty clips or just to get some satisfying eliminations. You know, you don't need to use this map just for 1v1 either. Like, a lot of pros out there are gonna load into the maps like this just to just free build and just work on whatever moves they're struggling with. All right, so last but certainly not least on our list, guys, is Raiders' brand new realistic 1v1 box fight map. So similar to our previous map, this map has a Q feature. We're gonna be filled with other random opponents. They're gonna be placed in a small arena with a random loadout of the current season loot pool. The size of the map is gonna force you into a realistic fight where you're gonna utilize your box fighting and peace control skills. You know, we honestly think that this map is just a better alternative to the typical realistic maps that you played as you won't be able to just crank to max height and play in an unrealistic manner. This map can be a great way to finish off your warm-up routine and get in the hang of fighting players in a realistic scenario. But of course, Army, we're back to Motivation Guys back. I am your motivation guy and I always will stay motivating you because you guys are important to me and, and just stay positive. I'm telling you, do not give up on your dreams. I almost gave up on mine, but you know what? I just kept going. I kept my head up and I've done a lot of things in my life that I never thought I could really accomplish. So, hey, listen, life is going to surprise you. You're going to, you know, some knocks here and there, but I'm telling you, get back up, stay positive, and you're going to make it to the goals that you have, all right? Hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe to the channel. Connect with my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. And also, you know, now that you know all the best creative maps are practicing it's really up to you to put in the time and effort if you guys want to start seeing results you can do it believe it see you on the next one peace